Steve, can you tell us a little bit about uh, your background in this actual field? Well, I was uh, trained as a PE teacher. I had uh, four years as an undergraduate and taught for nearly 19 years. Ended up being a PE master, deputy headmaster. Mm -hmm. uh, always been involved in education. Did two years extra study, did my master's degree. Mm -hmm. uh, and furthered that with a fair bit of university postgraduate post stuff. Uh, and made a research for like, three universities. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I've always had a penchant for, for teaching yeah. and uh, passing on this sort of stuff to people. What about your experience in the, in the sporting world? Uh, I've been fortunate enough to work for the last 20 years in professional sport, and, mm -hmm. uh, 10 years in three different stints with the Brisbane Broncos. Mm -hmm. uh, I was fortunate enough to be part of the Wallabies team. We won the World Cup in 99. Mm -hmm. um, I've worked for the Cowboys, the Reds, uh, been in charge of programs at Fulham, yep. the EPL. Yep. Uh, two team professional teams in France. I've just come back from England where I was working with Leeds Carnegie in uh, the Guinness Premiership. So I've had a fairly wide variety of uh, sporting professional sporting teams, but I've also worked a lot of amateur sides, mm -hmm. uh, a lot of people involved in rowing, triathlon, you name it, I've been involved in the cricket, it's it. Well, what about actually the, the teaching process you do here, um, passing that knowledge on, the experience, the practical versus the theoretical? Well, <clears throat> here we like to, to, because we've got a really well set out gym and it's, a, it's a, set out as a performance gym, we like to offer a lot of prac in our courses. Uh, hence, we spend time in the classroom and we spend time out in the gym. Uh, once a lot of the theory work is, is finished, we spend more time in the gym than in the classroom. But until they have that knowledge of anatomy and physiology, it's no good going out there and teaching them stuff because they just don't understand the reasoning why you're doing the exercises. And understanding why you do stuff is, uh, it, it, people t uh, tend to take ownership of the exercise. And that's the whole crux of the whole thing. If you can get them to understand why they're bench pressing a different way or why they're gripping the chin bar a different way and why the muscle groups work differently when you do that, then they'll understand why they're doing it. Good students are the ones that listen and, and absorb. They're like, you know, I'm not saying they have to be to do things that say that, that Steve Nance does all the time and I tell them that. I don't want them to be like me. And Chris says the same thing. You don't have to be a Chris Weir clone or a Steve Nance clone, but what I do tell them is, they have to understand that there's a right way and a wrong way to do things, but there's a lot of different right ways, but there's always a wrong way as well. And uh, I just try to get across to them that get their own little niche, get their own little personality trait and character and, and speciality, if they're good at something, work at that, but also make sure they adhere to sound principles.